Hello and welcome to Wine Blast Live, the short but unfailingly perky form of our podcast. And this one is all about finding the perfect wines to go with your spag bowl, a subject of vital geopolitical importance. Indeed, I'd say. indeed. It's definitely something to act decisively <laughs> on and be clear about, whatever. Uh, spaghetti bolognese, of course, your ultimate Wednesday night delight, yep, isn't it? You know, we all need a tasty midweek mashup. So here it is. Here, here's our one. Um, and we've got some proper inspiration for you on this front coming up. But first, can I just pick you up? <laughs> Congratulate you, perhaps, on, really? on oh. getting the word perky in uh, there right from the start. Yeah, well, I mean, it is our new official title, isn't it? Perky Podcast. Yeah, OK, so very briefly, uh, for those of you who haven't already been subject to our flagrant uh, <laughs> self-promotion, uh, we were a little bit overexcited, weren't we, recently? Yeah, to be featured bit. in the Radio Times magazine as their show of the week with a bit of a splash in the magazine, and they called us uh, Unfailingly Perky Podcasters. Thanks to all of you who so kindly commented <laughs> on this. Uh, one of whom was Justin Howard Sneed, a fellow MW and previous guest on the pod. Yeah, Justin who wrote, I'm now going to think of you as pinky and perky. Uh, you can decide which is which. Uh, can you record the next episode by speaking really slowly and then speeding up the tape? Brilliant, brilliant. Now, for, for those of you who don't get the reference, including me, because I had to Google pinky and perky. Yeah, um, bless. Apparently, they were, <laughs> they were puppet pigs they from the 1950s me. BBC show. Uh, who used to sing in really high, speeded up voices, and they would dance and generally be pretty silly. So I think Justin's got us nailed, hasn't uh, he? Yeah, so the, the obvious question is, of course, which is pinky and which perky? Which or of us who, is who? pinky and which of us is perky? It's not a, I, I don't feel I'm qualified to, to go there. I don't think you are. No, no. And no, in, a marriage, in a marriage, that might be very difficult and potentially complicated <laughs> area to go to. So I'm going to throw this over to you. You guys out there can decide which of us which is, is pinky, pinky and which of us is perky. Uh, maybe you can send us in a postcard with your suggestions or leave us a comment. Um, keep it clean, please. Yeah, people. well, I, th I, th look, I, I, think, I think we should get on with the show now, don't we? we, we and we because should. our spaghetti bolognese is getting cold. This is our short Enough one as well, isn't it? perky. Uh, now, this is our take on the classic Italian dish. It's mm. fairly, fairly rich, savoury, pretty much your ideal comfort food. Um, yes. No doubt someone will tell us it's heresy for some reason, which is what usually happens with mm. Italian classics, is it not? <laughs> uh, but what we're mostly focusing on here is not the recipe, it's the wines to go with it. Yeah, and before we tuck in, we should say that this food and wine mini series uh, is brought to you in association with Wine Club by Majestic. You know, this is a, a subscription service to help you discover new things without the fuss. Uh, currently, the region they're on is South Africa. Uh, they do the choosing for you. Uh, you get money off vouchers with your first order and you get a pretty magazine with details mm -hmm. of all the wines and also some really delicious recipes. And I just happen to have a copy here. Yeah. Yep. So you can see there, the, the, they've got a mushroom risotto in this one and a lamb shank pie, which you can That's see the lamb there. Which shank is pie, isn't pretty it? good, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> but we don't want to get distracted from the dish at hand, do we? And indeed the wines at hand. Uh, we've got some... Well, I'd say proper bangers here. We've got a table no, no, groaning. No, no bangers on our plate. No bangers on bangers, our plate. Bangers, bangers in terms of wine. We've got a groaning table full of spaghetti bolognese and wines here, haven't we? Yeah. So, uh, perhaps it's no surprise we've looked to Italy uh, as our main inspiration for, for, for this dish. Uh, a country that's doing great things on the wine front. Uh, and our first match is the Tuesday night wine. As, as you may have it. The, it's the Montepulciano d'Abruzzo 2019 by Massiarelli, which is £9.99 on Mix 6 at Majestic. Um, it's just such an elegant wine. It's like a, a cross between a sort of, n well, northern Italian culture with, with southern Italian joy and, and hedonism. It's sort of, it's structured and serious, but also it's very friendly and, and it's got a touch of age there too. Tons of sort of red fruits in the taste profile. Also just a little bit of, sort of tobacco and, and herbs in there as well. It's it's, it's, you know, with the dish, it's absolutely impeccable. It kind of makes you, I don't know, just want to sit down and have a moment of quiet reflection, sort of an intellectual match. That's why it's Tuesday night wine. I did wonder. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like that sort of north meets south of Italy. Um, mm. Anyway, but it, 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 it is such good value, that one. And uh, mm. we, we have several bottles in our cellar most of the time, don't we? we do. Now, next up is what I guess then, let's let's keep the analogy of the Tuesday night, etc., would be your Thursday night bottle, I think. This is the Valpolicella Ripasso mm. by Villa Borghetti. It's the, the 2020 vintage. Um, it's 10.99 on a mix six from Majestic. Uh, Ripasso, 
Valpola Cipollicella Ripasso, can't speak, um, is, it has a bit more weight, a bit more oomph than your average Valpol, um, and it's often a great match for food, particularly this kind of food. Mm. And you've got some juicy cherry fruit there, some smoky richness. It also, this one actually has quite firm, chalky tannins, very mm. typical mm. of an Italian red, um, but it's just really juicy and seamless and incredibly satisfying with this bag bowl. It's delicious, it's not, isn't it? Yeah, it just adds a sort of touch of sweetness and richness to the dish. Perhaps that, what, what, as you were sort of talking about, that the sort of edge of ripasso in there. Um, also kind of floral note comes out of the dish. Most important though is it's lovely tangy acidity. It's really refreshing and you, you need that combination of freshness and body here to match this, this bag bowl. It's a, it's a brilliant match, isn't it? So don't forget Valpolicella Ripasso in your food matching repertoire. Really important in there. Also, you know, it can be great value. You talk about it. It can. And I, I, I do love the label on this one. I'm just yeah. going to say that. I really... I don't know. She's very master wine and label. I just think label it looks cheese. fantastic. Uh, anyway, yeah. Someone there by labels. But anyway, Dan Brusco <laughs> is another name to throw in here, isn't it, really quickly. If you want to keep things super local with this dish then lambrusco is a great option and and you know don't forget about it there's some great new wave lambruscos out there which can be really fantastic food matches too yeah but we're going let's face it pretty non-local with our final match ah. um we have the radford dale mm. antithesis syrah 2017 you see mm. that there hopefully um and it is just gorgeous it's from stellenbosch in south africa so hence not terribly local to, to Bolognese, um, but this is part of the Wine Club Grand Tour case, so £199 for the case, so this is the posh one, and, and it's it's just a sensational wine, it really, really is. It's so meaty, it's oh. feral, it's complex, and um, it, it takes the dish in a, a, a very different direction, it brings out that savoury richness of the Bolognese, it, it gives a bit of a, a smoky, meaty, peppery complexity to the whole experience. It's it, it is serious, but it's also fun. Um, so this is, I'm going to say, this is your Saturday night blowout option. Love that. Love yeah. that. I'm in. I'm in for your Saturday night blowout. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. <laughs> it's so we're on Saturday. Amazing, that wine. I, yeah. I, I, I it's, love it's it. It's very, very I good. Absolutely love it. it. Yeah. Um, you know, Radford Dale, fantastic producer in South Africa. You've got to look, look out for their stuff if you don't already. Um, this one, I, I, I agree with you. It's kind of a special occasion bottle, isn't it? Hence the sort of Saturday night you can actually get this in store in Majestic for eighteen ninety nine as well, which I think is amazing value for what it is. Um, now, elegant, here we go. good, good, good tip here. Elegant, what? Ele elegant sort of New World Syrah from South Africa. Great shout, but but elegant New World Syrah with spaghetti bolognese. Great option. Because the New World Syrah, even an elegant one, is going to have just that little bit more kind of richness, a bit more fruit about it than the Northern Rhone. So I think, yeah, with a richer Bolognese, it, it's, it's... Well worth trying, well worth trying. Now, I don't want to break from normal service and just give a couple of more value shout outs. Is that allowed? If you must. OK, OK, here we go. Yeah, really short. quickly, really quickly. Both of these then are lighter red. So if that's your thing, check these out. First one is, is from South Africa too, the Spear Field and Flutter Sanso 2021, really cool name that actually. It's from Swartland. It's a sort of tangy, fruity match for the dish. Uh, that's this one's in the Wine Club Discovery case, which is 99 quid for 12 bottles, which actually is pretty decent value. And the other one here is, is from Chile. It's the Morande One to One Old Vines Pais 2019 from Southern Chile, just 7.99. And I absolutely love this you one. You do love this. It's don't really you? sort of friendly, <laughs> bit jammy, a bit but also fresh and fun. Yeah. You know, that is your Monday night match. <laughs> there you go. We've got every night of the week, I think, now. We, anyway, lots of, lots of lots of delicious covered. options from all over the world for every night of the week to go with your spag bowl. Now, you can find all the details and the recipe on our show notes or on the website, susieandpeter.com. And there are more details about the Wine Club by Majestic at majestic.co.uk forward slash wine hyphen club. Indeed. And thank you to Majestic and thanks to you for tuning in. Uh, here's to the joys of Spag Bowl. Uh, also to wines for every night of the week. And finally, here's to you. Cheers. <laughs>